Okay. Hello, my name is Ola Dapo Adewuya, and I would like to give you a brief overview of my article, Mixed Connective Tissue Disease Complicated by Heart Failure in Ileife, Nigeria, Management Challenges in a Resource-Limited Economy. So in this article, my motivation was uh, initiated by the observation of our medical team of a possible rare combination of diseases in the patients in Ileife, Nigeria. On a word round, um, we noticed that a 52-year-old lady with a three-week history of acute heart failure symptoms had some uncommon and specific deformities on physical examination, namely microstomia, a small mouth and uh, tethered forehead skin and lower eyelids and uh, tender swelling of the interphalangeal joints and severely deformed hands known as arthritis mutilans or lamin and long net. So baseline laboratory investigations revealed renal impairment and uh, specific rheumatological results like the U1 RMP antibodies, eight times the upper limit of normal, elevated rheumatoid factor, speckled pattern uh, anti-neutrophilic uh, antibodies, negative anti antibodies and uh, topoisomerous 1 and anti-CCP. So the chest X-ray and the echocardiography revealed features of uh, pulmonary fibrosis, pulmonary hypertension, and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, consistent with uh, likely connective tissue diseases. So these findings uh, pointed towards a mixed connective tissue disease, MCTD, as a primary and undiagnosed uh, disease process in this patient, likely, uncompl likely complicated by heart failure. So the treatment of the MCTD uh, almost led to the death of the patient and had to be stopped until the patient was out of acute heart failure. Mixed connective tissue disease itself is also known as Sharp disease and is a rare autoimmune uh, inflammatory disorder characterized by high U1 RNP antibodies, clinical serological overlap of systemic lupus erythematosus, systemic sclerosis, and polymyositis. Diagnosis on clinical and uh, serological factors in, in several criteria. There are some common underlying causes of heart failure in our environment, but MCTD is a rare cause of heart failure with few reports in Africa. And the current prevalence of MCTD in Africa is 0.11%. Even though MCTD has a generally good prognosis, significant cardiac involvement is rare. In conclusion, identifying MCTD is critical chiefly in patients needing steroids that may worsen systemic hypertension and heart failure. There is need to have definitive investigative uh, facilities for such patients in hospitals. Thank you for listening. And uh, the, the process of disease itself starts with MCTD, like this, and it goes to um, um, pulmonary hypertension, like that. And it also goes to uh, likely biventricular, biventricular failure. And uh, this also can lead to congestive heart failure or left ventricular failure itself. And the next thing is that it also leads to biventricular failure. So we commenced uh, treatment. We commenced treatment. And uh, once we started the treatment, uh, we noticed that the patient was getting better. But uh, once we commenced treatment of the MCTD, and the patient uh, worsened, almost uh, leading to possible, possible death of the patient. Like that, like that, and uh, possible death of the patient. And we had to like uh, stop treatment. We had to stop this treatment, stop the treatment of uh, MCTD. And uh, the patient really recovered. There was recovery, and the patient got better.